Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today we are going to be painting a wolf using watercolors. These are the supplies that you'll need. You'll need your watercolors, and I'm using this Prang 8 color set watercolor paper, and I'm using Canson XL watercolor paper. I'm going to be using tape to tape a border. This is scotch tape or masking tape. You need a pencil. I'm missing my eraser, so I have another eraser. You need a paintbrush, and I'm just using one paintbrush. Looks like it's a size 12 round. You also need a flat brush, and this will be for the wash that we're doing in the background. If you're not doing a wash in the background, you don't have to use it. And if all you have is a brush like this, you can do the background with a brush like this, no problem. And you need water. And I like to use a scrap piece of paper for testing colors and a paper towel. You don't have to use a paper towel, but you need something to dry off your brush in between steps. This was a requested tutorial. I'm gonna walk you through drying the wolf and then we will paint it together. And the colors that we're going to be using are black, yellow, and blue. First thing I'm gonna do is tape my borders. So the first thing we're going to do to make this background is we're gonna make a big puddle. We wanna just have a big puddle because we're covering the whole paper with it. The um, Maybe just make a nice off-white with yellow. It's a little bit too dark, so I'm gonna add water to my puddle. Yeah, that's a good color. As you're painting your background, try not to scrub any areas and going back and forth. Just cover it once. I changed that. You can go over them once, but don't go over them more than once. Cover your background and we're going to let it dry completely before we start sketching the wolf onto it. How you can tell if your paper is dry or not is to kind of look at it from the side and see if it's shiny or not. If it's not shiny, then it's dry. If it's shiny, then it's still wet. So once it's dry, let's go ahead and draw the wolf. You need to sketch really, really lightly. I'm going to be sketching a little bit harder just so you can see my drawing. We're going to draw a circle first for the big part of the head. You can erase pencil if it's over watercolor, but not if it's under watercolor. Underneath this, we're gonna draw the mouth. We're just gonna be making like a little bump. A little bubble. Okay, so the nose actually starts quite a bit lower. Just a little bit above this line. We're gonna draw a kind of a, a small curved line above and then just the circle shape underneath. Similar to the shape, but smaller. And then underneath, we're just going to draw a W that's really, really big on the sides. I'll make it just a little bit darker so you can see it. In between the nose and the top of the head are the eyes. So right in the middle of this area right here. So let's find the middle and I'm just gonna draw a line up from my nose just so I can find the eyes. Then once I reach the middle, the eyes are a really cool shape. Um, let me just kind of show you the shape on this side and then you can draw it on the other one. It reminds me of like a leopard's eyes. They come up and over like this. Draw a straight line and have it dip down. And then you're going to almost draw like a leaf shape. So you're gonna draw a straight line across, it's gonna dip down, and then just like a leaf shape, you're gonna draw a line back in. Now we're gonna add the round part of the eye. We can't see all of the eye, we can just see part of it. So we're gonna draw a circle, but just part of it we can see. And then I'm just gonna indicate that there is a highlight in there that I don't wanna cover up. So I'm putting three circles, basically. The big circle, the middle of the eye, and then this highlight circle. This one's up a little bit higher than this one. Now we need to put the ears on this wolf. And I'm gonna bring the top of the head down just a little bit and make it kind of flat. Wolf's ears are different from coyote's ears because they're round. Kind of come up and then are round on the sides. And don't worry, once we add the fur, this will stop looking like a cougar. I'm just gonna make this part just a little bit more narrow and then just add a tiny little shape underneath. And then we're gonna just add the neck right here. And then this is gonna be fur coming down. Yeah, the neck starts up here. I'm just gonna use my eraser to erase some of these circle lines, like right in here. Now let's make this look like a wolf by painting it. We're going to be using the technique where we paint light to dark. So the first color that we're actually gonna be putting on is a light blue. And it's gonna be the fur that is all around the wolf. Drop some water into here, grab blue. This is light, remember, so we don't need a ton. And then grab black. All right, now here is a technique for fur. So you wanna dip your paintbrush in the color you want, dry it off on your paper towel, press your paintbrush until it gets nice and feathery like this. This is such a light color. I'll get a darker color and show you really quick. You can dip your brush right in the color and press your brush to feather it out. And then let me show you what this looks like. This is pretty wet, so it's not the best, but see how it's kind of this nice scratchy 
furry texture. That's what we're doing, we're just doing it with a lighter color. So grab some of that light blue, fan it out, and especially with this technique, I like to just make sure on my scratch paper that it is the color that I want. And let's start at the top and we're just gonna brush up and lift away as we get near the edge. Okay, and then if it starts to go together, just press it out again. And I'm just gonna lightly move into the wolf. So we're just going with this lighter blue color all around the edges. And as it gets below the eyes, it's gonna to start to fall down because it's getting longer. If you start getting big brush strokes, just fan it out again. So we're just going around it, almost like we're making a lion's mane. Okay, and then take that same blue color and we're just gonna put it along the top of the nose, paint in the nose. And I'm gonna paint a little bit under the nose right here, just underneath and then just on this bottom. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna add these really light, light brown parts inside of this. The light brown is pretty similar to our nice little puddle we have right here. To make a brown, I'm gonna be using yellow and black. Maybe, you know what, I said I wasn't gonna use brown, but I might add just a tiny bit in this. So once you've mixed up this color using black and yellow, and I, use, I did use a little bit of brown, fan it out. And then we're gonna to try to start in here and make some of these browner areas. There is brown right above the nose. So we're just starting on the nose and kind of making the nice little firework explosion. It does come over the eyes. The fur above the eyes is this nice kind of golden brown color. And under the eyes, it just goes out. In the middle, it's going up. Now, get more of that brown color and let's paint in some of the fur underneath here is brown. So we're gonna start here and feather it out. And this color is actually gonna be in this area too. Also, the hair is longer in this area, so I am trying to make longer brush strokes. Okay, also this brown color is at the base of the ears. And this brown color, I'm actually going to add just a little bit more yellow to it. And we're going to paint in the eye. You can make these really bright and yellow if you want, or you can make them a little bit more subdued like I'm going to do. Just make sure you don't paint over the little white dot that we're going to be using as a highlight. Now we're getting into the gray fur. So we need black. I would still use a little bit of yellow. That's pretty dark. So now we just kind of have this gray fur color. And I'm just gonna show you some of these grayer areas and I'm gonna start at the bottom and move up. If you're having the problem that I'm having right now with these sharp, wetter lines, just keep fanning your brush out and it should eventually work for you. I'm just gonna bring a, a little line in here, a line kind of down and around the eye here. Same thing on this side. And then on the nose, you can kind of make a few little dots in here and then short little lines coming up into the fur up here. We need to bring it in here as well. There's some lines in the ears. And I'm just gonna take this darker color and kind of move it up and around the top of the ear and down. I'm going over the blue. Okay, now I wanna get some of the darker parts around the eyes, but I'm gonna slowly do that. So take the same color we were just using, and I'm just gonna paint around the eye with it. Make sure this middle color is dry. And then you can take your brush, and along the edges, especially under the eye, you can just kinda add a little tiny bit of that texture. So I'm just adding some fur around the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna add a few little pieces of fur on the inside of the nose. So just notice how we're slowly getting darker around the edges of the mouth here. I'm just gonna add a little bit. While we are waiting for this all to dry, let's work on the eyes. So I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow. Let's put a little bit more black. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of a darker color that I used on the eyes. We're gonna create this shadow that's going across the top. I'm just gonna bring this shadow 
across the top of the, the middle of the eye, but I don't wanna cover that little white dot. So it looks like we're ready to add our darkest fur. We're gonna start up here in between the ears. This is where the fur is the darkest, and then we're gonna start coming down. So we wanna make a puddle. Okay, instead of adding yellow this time, we're gonna add some black. This should be a lot darker. I think I have too much water on there. So I mean, we can try it and just see what it looks like. Yeah, so let's just add this color in here before we do anything else. This will kind of help us and give us a guide for this next darker color too, I think. Okay, now while we're waiting for some of those areas to dry, let's just add some details in the nose and on the eyes. I'm gonna use the same color. So there's basically a highlight on the top of this nose right here. I'm just gonna draw a little circle. Be careful around this spot and let's just make sure we keep it light, not dark. Then I'm gonna use my brush, dip it in the water, blot it out a little bit, and then I'm just gonna smooth these edges. Okay, and then we're just gonna add some of the shading underneath here. Getting my brush wet, blotting it off. I'm just gonna add this black part on the eye just so you can see it. So you should add details last, but sometimes I just can't help it. So make sure you keep the little tiny circle white. So with this black, I might as well add it in now. I'm gonna come across the top of the nose. So you put your darkest black on there, rinse your brush off, blot it off, and then just smooth out your edges with a wet brush. Let's put the darker fur on and then we'll work with the eyes. So I'm using black and blue. So on the top, we're just gonna be moving up. You just wanna be careful because if your brush isn't fanned, you're gonna get this thing that happened to me right there where it's just gonna blend all the colors together. I'm kind of going out towards the eyes and then moving over the top of the eyes here. I'm not sure, there's just some random stragglers in there. In the ears, I just kind of want to fix this a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to bring some fur around the corners of the mouth right here. Now let's make some of the details with our black and let's work around the eyes first. So I'm just using the same puddle that I just used for the darker fur and I'm gonna come around the eyes again. It's kind of filling in that space and then you can start to kind of just feather the edges or just kind of make the line not so sharp around the edges. Take your dark color again, and we're just gonna make this little area in here a lot darker. So I feel like I need to really fix this ear. So you can put some of the those little whiskers in there. So I'm feathering it out and I'm going on the side. The middle of the eye actually comes in a little bit, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so take your tape off, take it off carefully so you don't tear anything, and go ahead and sign it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for suggesting that we draw a wolf. I had a lot of fun painting this, and I hope this helped you learn how to use the feathering technique and the fur technique um, with watercolors. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.